And a crunching hit put on by Sheldon Brown. And Bush uh, takes a while to get up. And now goes down oh. again. He did not see that hit coming. He was looking back at the ball. That was a blind hit right there. Reggie Bush was completely exposed. And maybe an early message by the Philadelphia Eagles defense on the road against the Saints. And they took this timeout to give Clifton Smith a chance for a return. And they ran right into Smith. Clip on the punt and still lying down. In an impact lasting just 15 milliseconds, a player's head, on average, experiences almost 100 Gs of force. And collisions on special teams can result in forces of up to 190 Gs. So when someone has a head injury, the brain, we know, moves around within the skull, and there can be stretching of the pituitary stalk, or there can be direct damage to the pituitary gland. Damage to that so-called master gland can lead to deficiencies in critical hormones that affect everyday energy levels and such processes as the healing of muscles and bones. About this issue of CTE, brain trauma, concussion-related symptoms, early dementia, cognitive decline. You know, Jude, I'm very concerned about it, uh, not just from personal concern, but also for concern for other players, guys I've, I've played with, uh, friends of mine that maybe played before me, guys that are playing still. Um, it's a major issue. Give me a guesstimate on, on how widespread. Oh, Jude, I think it's 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 going to affect every single player that plays a game. I don't know any player that that doesn't have contact with his, with a helmet. The human body's not meant to do that and withstand that kind of punishment. So um, I think it affects everybody more. Uh, I'd say 50% of the guys are probably going to have real issues and maybe more. Still stopping. Go, go. Oh, oh my go. gosh. of up to 190 Gs. The human body's not meant to do that and withstand that kind of punishment. Woo! Good hit, boy! 